will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. And come let us exalt his name together. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. God is the God above all gods. The creator of heaven and earth. Creator of the universe, the ruler and the sustainer thereof. Good morning, everyone. I want to thank you again for coming to my life. Welcome to this again, another presentation by Man in the Word. This morning, beloved, I want to encourage each and every one. To continue to look to the Lord God, the Almighty, the one in whose hands our breath lies. In Him we live and move and have our being, the eternal God Elohim, the El Shaddai, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you for joining me this morning. Beloved, I cease not praying for you that God will continue to move mightily in and through your life. My prayer this morning and my encouragement is that you will continue to lay hold of the arms of the Almighty. Continue to trust in Him and seek Him and allow Him to be your chart and your compass. Be your fulcrum and your load. May God continue to have His way in and through you. As you go from day to day, beloved, you will seek the Lord while He may be found. You will call upon Him while he is near the time is coming beloved when you will seek the Lord and you will not find him when you will call upon him and he will not hear you God is calling all man today beloved to seek him now while he can be found call upon him now while he is near as I give thanks to the producer and the maker of these classical, these saxophone music, Simplicity Volume 5. Beloved, these music are quite inspirational. May God continue to bless the producer of these. Simplicity Volume 5. Today is a beautiful day. Indeed, some would say this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. May as you go through today, beloved, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord God lift up his countenance upon you. Be gracious unto you and give you his peace. Eternal God and our Father, this morning, Lord, I want to thank you for your love for us. I want to thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I want to thank you, Lord, for your peace that passeth all understanding. I want to thank you for being you, for being the mighty loving God that you are. As we go throughout today, Lord, invite your Holy Spirit to take full control of our lives. Those of us who know you, we ask, Lord, that you will enhance our knowledge of you and our walk with you. May our walk be one, Lord, of peace and humility. May our walk be one wherein, dear God, our lives will be touched and be transformed by your power. 
I ask of you, eternal God, to forgive us of our sins, the sins of commission, the things, Lord God, that we shouldn't have done and we find ourselves doing. We ask, Lord, that you'll forgive us of the sins of omission. Oh, Lord, the things that we should never have done are things we should have done and did not do them. Oh, Lord, forgive us. Wash us one more time in your blood. Cleanse us, O oh God, from all the filth of the flesh. And help us, Lord, to walk in the Spirit so that we do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I ask, Lord, of your, for your guidance, the guidance of your Holy Spirit. May he convict us, O oh God, when we go wrong and teach us how to do right. Give us power to live above sin, and may sin have not, no dominion over us. I lift up to you, Lord, our young people. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will give them the strength and the courage they need to stand up against sinful pledges, to stand up against practices that is destroying their lives, to stand up against substance abuse, to stand up, O oh God, against knives and gun, against knife crime and gun crime. Lord, I ask that you will touch the lives of those who are in gang. Give them the strength, Lord, those who are trapped in gangs, whose lives are being threatened. I pray, living God, that you will give them the strength and the courage. Give them, Lord, a safe passage from these gangs so that they may be able to live the life that they need to live without living in fear of others taking their lives. Oh Father, forgive their sins, Lord. Give them victory over destructive forces and temptations that they are battling with day by day. Oh Lord, give them a sense of belonging. Help them, Lord, not to join gang in order to feel wanted, in order to feel belong. But, Lord, help them to experience love in their own home, love among their own relatives, love among their own friends. Help them, Lord, not to be part of a gang, to feel belong, to feel love, and to feel appreciated, and to feel wanted. May as a church, Lord, may we give our young people the support that they need that, that there will not be a longing need or a longing desire to be part of gangs to be part of a group that is destroying the lives of others taking the lives of men women babies and children oh lord in the name of jesus i pray father that you will intervene on their behalf thank you lord for what you are done doing for us what you have done before Lord we call upon you because there is no one else we can call on all others will fail but we know that Jesus never failed you bids us Lord God call upon me in the time of trouble I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me we come this morning Lord for your deliverance we ask that you will deliver us O oh God Deliver us from the clutches of Satan. Deliver us, O oh God, from the bondage of sin. Deliver us, O oh Lord, from pledges that are destroying our health. The practices, Lord, that is life-threatening and destroying. Deliver us, O oh God, from vice and crime and violence. Deliver us, Lord Jesus, from our own selves and the destructive practices and habits that we do, Lord, in destroying our own health. Deliver us, Lord, from sinful practices and pledges. Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver us. And help us, Lord, unless you deliver us, O oh God, we are not delivered. Give us power, Lord, to live above sin. Power to walk in obedience to your truth. Power, Lord, to study your words and as we study, to study with the understanding thereof. O oh Lord, fit us for time and for eternity. 
clean us up Lord Jesus that we may be ready for your second coming and fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may be empowered to proclaim this message this last message of warning this last message of love to a dying world oh Lord help us dear God to uh, have great moral values and to that our moral practices Lord will be right we realize Lord and we see in society that morals are very low men and women are giving in oh God to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils and practices of lives that is destroying good morals Oh Lord, the nudity and the profanity in our street today is appalling. And we beg, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you will give us spiritual vision, that, Lord, we will not look with the lustful eyes, but we will look, oh God, with through the eyes of thy spirit, that we may behold the things that you want us to see and not be gazing at the things that you want us to look away from. Steer our vision, O oh God, and give us the mindset of Jesus Christ that we will not be feeding on the husk and the filth of this world, but that, Lord God, we will feast our minds and our eyes and the things of the Spirit that will make us spiritual giants for Thee and not be spiritual paupers that are feeding on the filth of the flesh. O oh Lord, I pray for us as men that you will give us, make us men of integrity, men with dignity, man, O oh God, of spiritual stamina, man who cannot be bought or sold, men with spiritual backbone in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask, Lord, that you will restore our good name, restore our, our good reputation, make our reputation one that we will be men of standard, men of God, and not men who are just male, who are not standing up for our responsibility in society, who are not speaking the truth and living by it. But help us, Lord God, to be men who will stand up for our responsibility, men who will be heard, men who will be visible in your church, men who will be visible in the lives of our children, men who will take responsibility for our own actions, men, O oh God, who will not be sold out, but men who will only be sold out for Jesus Christ. Teach us, Lord. How to be men of God, man of your word, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help us as men to respect our ladies, not to exploit them, not to take advantage of their vulnerability, but to see them not as sexual agents. Not to see them as the fulfillment of our pleasures, but to see them as our sisters. See our ladies as ladies and not to treat them as sexual objects. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, baptize us anew, Lord God. And help us to be controlled by your spirit and not to be controlled by your sexual urge and desires. Lord, we realize that our world is being destroyed by sexual sin and the sinful pleasures that is an epidemic in our society sexual sin is destroying the lives of your men and women i pray god in the name of jesus that you will help us lord as a church 
not to be contributing to the downfall of society through sexual sins but to seek God to lift up the standard and uphold the banner of Prince Emmanuel God in the name of Jesus I surrender myself to you Lord to be one who will be an agent of change in society and in church and in my home as for me and my household oh God help us that we will vow that we will serve the Lord oh Lord teach me teach me how to be the man that you call me to be that you raise me up to be Help me not to be diverted, not to be sidetracked, but to be focused and to stay focused on you, the God of my childhood. Thank you, Lord, for hearing. Thank you for answering my prayer. May you have your way in me and through me. May you speak to me and speak through me now. As I avail myself to you, to be used by you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, my God, my Savior, and my soon coming King, in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Beloved, I want to thank you this morning for tuning in. May as you go, may the Lord God guide you and keep you. May the Lord continue to strengthen you and prosper you throughout today. May he give you the desires of your heart and produce in you his thoughts that you may make right decision. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>